안녕하세요, gentlemen. Hi, Hi, guys. Riley here. So today I am filming a makeup tutorial for you guys for Halloween. It is literally tomorrow. So if you guys have an outfit like I do, but you're not quite sure what makeup to do, whether you're gonna be a witch or a vampire, I think that this makeup look will go perfect with either. So it's really a last minute makeup look to go with any outfit that you have. If that sounds interesting to you guys, then I hope you enjoy the featured look that you are looking at right now. And please keep watching. Shizakebokayo. So first I'm going to mix these two foundations together. This one is the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Even Finish Foundation in the shade Warm Porcelain 0.5 and then the other one is in the shade Cool Sand 2.25. This one's more matte and this one has more of a serum-y texture and I don't want to do white face paint that's going to clog your pores. So I'm just going to mix these two in a one-to-one -one ratio and then I will be applying that on my skin. But before getting started, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Pore Freshenal Primer. It's important to wear a primer, especially for this, because we're not trying to fill in our pores, we're trying to have the makeup stay out of it so right now I just have basic skincare on and now the primer I'm going to take my Lorac Pro Contour Palette dip into that peach shade some color correcting under my eyes and then going in with my Clinique Puff I'm just gonna spray that with some spray primer and go in. Okay, now I'm going back in with a second layer of just the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Even Finish. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Snow, and I'm just gonna be applying it to the high points of my face, but also to cover up unwanted things on my face and also I am going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral. I'm just going to let this set on my face for about a minute and now after letting it set I am going to blend it out. see how there is a kind of line that's being created we have the light here and the light here we're gonna leave this blank just blended that out I don't want it to crease while I'm working on the rest of my face so I'm going to set that with powder right now just using the two lightest shades in the Kat Von D shade and light palette and pressing that in. This time I'm only gonna go in with the light one because I feel like it darkened it a little bit when I mixed in the yellow. I'm going in a half circle rainbow arching motion having this part of my forehead really stick out but then I want to shade back the other parts I'm not going to set the outer rim of it because I do want to apply some contour so it needs to mix in going in with the Anastasia stick contour in the shade font Okay, and we are done with the makeup. <laughs> this can be a look all in its own. I don't know what it would be, but it scares me, that's for sure. Now we're going to blend it out. I'm just gonna use any kind of stiff, 
kabuki brush, anything will do. And then this brush also has like a small side, so we're just gonna blend that line out a little, not too much. Get down to your collarbones in the center. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take it on my brush and try to mimic that as best as we can. Even though you can't do perfection twice. And then now for the eyes. Gonna drag some of that nose contour in and drag this out. And then now for the nose and we're just gonna blend out our lines. We're not really moving them around anymore. Now we're going to set the contour with some powder. Going back into the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I'm going to take the Cool Tone Brown. It's kind of like a dense, small brush to go over everything we just did. carve this out more, take any foundation powder. This is pretty light. It's in the shade Fair and it is from IT Cosmetics. It's a CC powder foundation and I'm going to rub my sponge in and go like that. I'm gonna do the same for this side. And then going in with another dense little brush, I'm just going to blend the lines together. If you had black and white colors, this would work too, but I'm primarily using makeup that you might already have to be easier, but if you're somebody who has like a black color and a white color, then you can basically do the same thing I'm doing. So next we're going to be moving on to the eyes and then we're almost done. So I'm going in with the bombs meet matrimony and I mean come on does this not scream vampires and werewolves and witches. <laughs> I love the purples and the reds in here. So I'm just going to take a dual ended brush, something to blend, something to pack on the color. I'm gonna go and put the red all over my lid. So going back in, do the same to the bottom. Squint your eyes and where the fat bulges out, trace that. The densely packed side of the brush and I'm gonna wiggle it in the purple and then I'm going to stamp it on my lash line. And 
trace it on the lash line on the bottom. And then do the same on the other side. Define the inner corner. And that is it for the eyes. Quite simple. It looks really pretty. Now we're gonna move on to the lips. So first I'm gonna go in with a lip color from Catrice and it's in this shade 20 Macaroon. And then for brows, I'm just gonna go in with my Essence Make Me Brow. There's only two of them. I'm going in with the cooler tone one. And I'm just gonna make my eyebrows as big and bushy as possible. And that's what my crazy eyebrows look like right now. And then next, just add some mascara, but for me, I don't want it to be glamorous and beautiful. I want it to be clumpy and mucky and spidery. I'm just gonna go back in with our original contour brush and wipe away the flakes from the mascara. And now I'm gonna go put on my Halloween costume. I'll be right back. And this is my outfit for tomorrow. And this is my makeup to go with it. So this is the finished look, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like my video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. If you have any questions or you wanna say something, then comment down below as well. And I hope this was enjoyable. And if you guys try it out, please let me know. I would love to see and have a spooky and great Halloween. And remember, it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Annyeong, tamatomanayo.